Uh, very good day to everyone. I will introduce myself as Neha Priya, working in IIT College of Pharmacy as assistant professor. So today my video lecture is on the topic nitration. Moving further, first let's see the contents of today's video lecture. So today's video lecture comprises of the topic that is what is nitration, importance of nitration, nitrating agents, mixed acid for nitration, aromatic nitration, kinetic and mechanism of aromatic nitration. And the last one will be process equipment for technical nitration. So the first thing that comes to your mind is what is nitration? Basically, when there's an introduction of one or more nitrate groups into a reacting molecule, it can be termed as nitration. How it takes place is when we have one nitrating agent and one organic compound. And when the reaction between these two takes place, there is a replacement of halogen or hydrogen atom. And this replacement is done by the nitro group. Like hydrogen is replaced and the nitro group is added to the same part of that molecule. And that nitro group, one or two nitro groups become chemically bonded to that compound. Then this nitration process takes place. For example, as you can see, when benzene is reacted under HNO3 or H2SO4, it gives nitrobenzene. So basically, there are three general reactions that summarizes nitration chemistry. The first one is nitroaromatic or nitroparaffinic compound, in which you can also say it as C nitration. What happens in this is basically nitro group attaches itself to the carbon atom. As you can see, when CH plus CHNO3 reacts, it gives CNO2 plus H2O. The nitro group is attached to carbon atom. The second one is nitrate ester. It can be also termed as O nitration. What happened in this is basically acidification reaction takes place in this, and there is an O N bond formation done in this reaction. As you can see, COH plus HNO3 gives CO plus NO2 plus H2O. The last one is nitramine. It can be also termed as N nitration, in which N N bond is formed. As you can see, NH plus HNO3 gives N NO2 plus H2O. So the, these three are the general reaction that summarizes nitration chemistry. As we now we know what is nitration, then so there are certain you know advantage of this process. So the advantage of this process is they can be used as solvents. After nitration, we can use them as solvent. For an example, if you know toluene, when toluene is, you know, nitrated, it gives nitrotoluene. And then further nitrotoluene is used as an intermediate for other reactions. In diet stuff, it can be used in pharmaceuticals and explosive. Basically, these nitrating agents or nitro, uh, nit after nitration, that nitro, uh, nitration compounds are mostly useful as an intermediate for, you know, production of or the uh, preparation of other compounds such as amines. Like amines are particularly more, you know, uh, prepared by these, the intermediates or intermediates of nitro nitration compounds. In nitration process, as I already, already told you, there will be one, you know, one will be your uh, reactant or the reacting compound and the other to which it is reacting is known as nitrating agents. So nitrating agents can be composed of fuming, concentrated and aqueous nitric acid can be used. Second one will be mixtures of nitric acid with sulfuric acid, acetic acid, acetic and hydride, phosphoric acid and chloroform can be used for the same nitrogen pentoxide and nitrogen tetroxide. You know, in order to uh, select this nitrating agents, one need to be very particular to, you know, to watch co what compound we are reacting with. As the, like for an example, I have certain compound and I need to, you know, do the nitration process. These all parameters should be calculated before selecting your nitrating agent. Because there are certain nitrating agents that can give you more result for the same. And there are certain which, you know, which can decrease the activity or which can, you know, which can take more time in the process. So it should be a very intelligent choice in selecting the nitrating agent for certain reaction. The mechanism of that reaction should be understood before selecting any nitrating agents for nitration process. Let's know about mixed acid for nitration. 
you know there are certain mixed acid that is now used in the nitration process for an example the nitrile ion no2 plus has been used for the same basically it Uh, what it is the systemic nitric acid sulfuric acid it is mostly used as nitrating medium for a particular step point nitric acid exists in the strong sulfuric acid as nitrile ion and this nitrile ion has been used in plenty of nitrate nitration processes for an example how it is formed is hno3 when reacts with 2h2so4 it gives no2 plus this is the nitrile ion Plus H three O plus two H two S O O minus. How it is done is in this the first thing which happen is there is a generation of electrophile. Okay, in this as you can see when H N O two is which and H N O three is reacted in the presence of H two S O four. The first thing which we need to do is we need to generate an electrophile. You can say electrophilic aromatic substitution. reaction takes place in the first step in which uh, you know the electrophile is generated and when this electrophile is generated it has now will be you know reacted with benzene this nitronium ion which is no2 plus is further reacted with benzene and the other process for an example the nitration of benzene can be done for the same okay mixed acid composition uh for technical standpoint this mixed acid will be mixed you know mixed nitric and sulfuric acid are the primary two uh, thing that are been used the amount of amount of 100% nitric acid pre present in nitration must be enough to satisfy the stoichiometric requirements of nitration reaction it is usually present in excess in order to maintain reasonably fast overall reaction basically the amount of nitric acid should be maximum so that you know there uh, the reaction will be fast and should not be you know uh, remain incomplete in between so it should be that much amount should be present to you know uh, the uh, to complete the reaction the amount of 100% sulfuric acid with it associate sl3 must be sufficient to promote reaction basically this uh, Uh, stand point is this mixed nitric and sulfuric acid should be present in an optimum quantity so that reaction will be complete in a particular manner and should be fast and should not remain incomplete in between so basically there is a term that is dbs that is dehydrating value of sulfuric acid dbs is the ratio of h2so4 to h2o present at the end of the reaction it is an ratio and nitric ratio is nitric ratio is the ratio of weights of 100% nitric acid to the weight of material being nitrated the <laughs> dbs and stability of nitrated charge basically when we have increase in dbs it favor in high stability and fast reaction whereas when there is a decrease in dbs it you know uh, the reaction will be slow and will be unstable so the dbs uh, quantity should be maximum but the increase there will be in, there should be an increase in dbs favor so that the reaction should uh, will be not remain incomplete and all the process in the reaction should be attained or justified dbs ratio is always on the high safer side kind of automatic safety factor it should always remain on the uh, safety side it should not be in the middle aromatic nitration basically uh, nitrile ion uh, as all, i already told you the first thing what happen in this is we need to prepare a nitronium ion and how it will react will be the first thing which that will be done in this will be generation of electrophilic reaction that will be uh, this reaction will be you know uh, reversible it can be uh you know interchange and the charge contained on the same will be positive charge what happen in this is we will uh, see with the reaction the carbon atom of the aromatic ring basically it should it, the carbon atom uh, should have electron density like the nitrogen attachment of nitrogen uh, nitro atom depends on electron density nitro group can attach to ortho metal para depending on the electron density 
so if the product is you know isomeric product will depend upon the substitute the reaction will depend upon the sus substituent sus uh, like the substituent which have a high electron density to ortho or para position the nitro group will will done at that ortho and para position so the reaction is mostly dependent to the side of the electron density where the electron density is more the attachment of the nitro nitro atom will be there then the last uh, then the further will uh, understand about the kinetic of aromatic nitration the kinetic of aromatic nitration are the function of temperature which affect the kinetic rate constant and of the composition of both the acid and hydrocarbon phases basically the nitration depends on two factors more uh, probably that first one will be your uh, temperature and the second one will be your first one will be your temperature and second one will be the kinetic root constant in this what happen is when there is an addition of larger interstitial area between the two phases the rate of nitration increases since the main reaction occur at near the interface larger interfacial area are obtained by increased agitation and how that larger in, uh, area will be attained by increased agitation the viscosity and densities of these two phases and the interfacial tension between the phases are important physical factors are very important as i already told you you know the temperature is the most important factor what are the physical parameters that are important for this processes the temperature and this phases are the kinetic rate constant of these phases temperature what happen in temperature also you know changes the solubility of various compounds hydrocarbons and it gives sometimes it gives certain by products that are not useful sometimes what to happen is uh, because of the te uh, temperature over a range of temperature two phase dispersion have been used to calculate the energy of activation from 59 to 75 kilo joule per molecule such energy of activation must be considered as only apparent since the true kinetic rate constant no2 plus concentration and interfacial areas all change temperature is increased as the droplet in decreases in size the ease of separation between these two phases you know also decreases when these like when we do the increase agitation of the given current uh, when we do the increase agitation so what happens is there will be a decrease in the average diameter and as the average diameter of the droplets size decreases the ease of separation between these two will be very very high mechanism of aromatic nitration so the mechanism consists of three parts first will be formation of nitronium ion can will be formation of aranium ion as a result of electrophile addition and the last one will be loss of proton when we use hydrogen as a positive charge so as you can see the formation of nitronium ion in which what happen is basically uh, electrophilic generation of electrophile has been done it is a reversible process and in this nitronium ion that is no2 plus has been generated the second will be formation of aranium ion as a electro uh, as a result of electrophilic addition as you can see there is a aranium ion has been generated with this basically uh, benzene react with nitronium ion and one of the pi bond breaks and uh, there is a net uh, attachment of nitrogen group then further what happen in this is uh we have to get rid of the carbocation for that we need to use base and we in the we can use uh h2o also we, uh, as it can you know the de uh, degenerate the ring and for the nitration of the benzene can be done so this is the uh, you know uh, this will be the your mechanism of aromatic nitration so, uh moving further the last one is process equipment for te technical nitration they are two process equipment that has been used in the same first one will be the batch nitration and the second one is the continuous nitration in batch nitration use you know is usually done in a close cast iron steel uh, basically in modern technique we used carbon steel mild carbon steel for the same uh, the cylindrical vessel contain kind of cooling surface a means of agitation inlet and outlet uh, in this a large diameter 
pure dumping line for emergency use has been attached to the same. What happened is the content of air nitrator are dumped rapidly into the large volume of water contained in a browning tub. And then the nitration suction line vapor space above the liquid charge to move the acid fuse to the oxidized of nitrogen, which may be liberated. There are two factors that is important for the same is degree of agitation and control of temperature. For example, from one part, the inlet, from inlet, the reactants and the nitrating agent has been done. From agitation takes place, as it from with agitation, uh, with agitation, the nitration test. Uh, will be taking place. The side of the walls will be cool and the two important factors uh, in this will be degree of agitation and control of temperature. The second will be the continuous titration. Same equipment has been used in this also but there is a difference that is uh, there will be continuous withdrawal of the product and the continuous feed of the reactant is provided in the same. Uh, so there will be the continuous uh, you know addition of the uh, uh, your uh, reactant and the continuous removal of the product takes place. Uh, automization is a continuous process. Agitation mechanism can be single impeller, double impeller, propeller or turbine with cooling sleeves are used in continuous nitration. What are the advantages and disadvantages of batch and continuous reaction process? Advantage of batch processes a variety of different products can be made. Slow reaction can be carried out, can use reactant in any state including solids also and advantage of uh, continuous processes like more quantity large quantity of the chemicals can be made it is not expensive and less labor are required for the same disadvantage of bad processes risk of contamination is more in this as one or more product are made uh, you know uh, that uh, synthesized in the same expensive uh, Workforce requirement is more and can be difficult to control exothermic reactions. Disadvantage of continuous processes, high capital cost for setting up the plant. And uh, if it is not uh, operated continuously, then the cost is rises for the same. I hope you got all the points. Thank you for listening to me patiently. Thank you for your time.